Previously on Brenebula. Appears. Yep. Ghost of Bobby himself. So we kill him. Since we've finished up in the desert, it's decided that we'll meet Captain Toad, or Captain T. Ode, at the museum to steal his son back. After foiling the plans of the evil museum and taking the main exhibit, the Great Sea is the next stop. Because we've acquired the sea chart from the cool captain. The fog is quickly cleared and the tower is found. Yep, it it's a nice sea tower, and we went to Skull Island. It was a whole thing. Didn't take that long, so it's like, whatevs. Uh, looks like we need some Legend of Zelda-esque orbs to open this door. So uh, we just explore islands until we find a hand. But as we do that, on the Hammer Island, we find the legendary hammer. Probably won't use this ever, because I just will hoard it and be like, oh, I'll need it. I'll hoard it till I absolutely need it, and then I'll never use it, because that's who I am. <laughs> we then duke it out on uh, Battle Island and solve the puzzle of the rest of the islands. And they're supposed to lead us to a special place underwater, but Luigi stole the key. Again. <laughs> He's on the Mushroom Island, and we find out uh, he swam everywhere. Like, what a beast. He honestly earned that nap. <laughs> He's so dedicated. What a guy. <laughs> uh, the owner of this island appears to be missing, though. My first thought is to check the basement. This is ominous. It appears that someone has been practicing the art of origami. They were trapped in the wall, and we freed them. Ollie was created using the toad's life origami, but Ollie was full of anger. He finished Olivia with life origami and stole all the origami tools and trapped the mad origami creator in the wall. The origami master tells Olivia that he's proud of her and we set out with new resolve. Having obtained the key, we head to the secret location and attempt to dive and search for where this key belongs. An underwater island is discovered the key fits just right, and we brave the interior. Wow, it's like, just wow. It's, it's beautiful in here. I love it. I honestly, like, it, I love it. It's so, it's so cool. It appears I was right in calling this uh, Zelda-esque orb because this is a Zelda reference. It's pretty cool. We need to overcome the trials of power, wisdom, and courage. But first, let's explore. Happenstance exploration leads us right to the Ice of Elemental Temple, which we decided to do first. And the puzzles in this temple are my favorite of this game so far. I don't know why, but it was just so fun to do, and we could skip a lot of the enemies because this ice platform underneath of me just kills them. It was, it was fantastic. I really enjoyed playing through this. The ice of elemental boss was really fun to do as well. The puzzles that you had to solve to beat it uh, were very intuitive. You could put it all together without even taking out any of the hints. It was it was very fun to do, and it was relatively quick. It wasn't hard to start back up and try to beat. I did do this on my first try, and it was it was rather nice. Definitely one of the funnest boss fights in the game as well, so far. After that's all said and done, we... Take a slide back down to the temple entrance and begin the temple challenges. All the trials of courage, power, and wisdom, not in that order. 
Uh, power took me a few tries, but that was mostly because the Joy-Con stick drift, it kept pushing me out from underneath of the blocks that I was supposed to hit, and I couldn't really get it right. But uh, don't worry, we did eventually switch out to Joy-Con, and we got it done immediately after that. Wisdom was easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Got it first try, and on to courage, which <laughs> it took me a bit to do. Uh, I also mispressed a few times, and that got me to lose. Uh, <laughs> also, while mashing buttons, trying to get through the dialogue, I uh, accidentally paid 3,000 coins to make it easier. <laughs> Okay, I completed the trials, woo. <laughs> Alright, since we have all the orbs, we unlock the tower and climb to its peak. Where we find a tape dispenser. Cool. This fight was a bit frustrating, but I managed it first try. It just took a lot of time. Come ye land, water, fire, and ice. Aid me in ridding these barriers. So I can now call upon you all to unite and lead us to the Green Ribbon. We did it. We are headed for the heavens next time. If you want to see what happens next, subscribe. Don't forget to like and comment on what is your favorite Velemental? What's your favorite boss so far of this game? A lot of them were pretty cool, but some of them were pretty annoying. Also, look for something completely different next time. Maybe not next time, but uh, soon. They'll be short and sweet. Just some Pokemon booster pack openings. Hopefully, I will do two or three a week. Uh, I'm not sure, like two or three vids a week of them. They're just going to be short, under 60 seconds. Uh, and since they're so quick to make, I, I hope to be able to get them out regularly. Um, if they do well, I'll keep doing them. Uh, you know, comment again what Velemental you liked, what boss fight you liked of this playthrough so far. And if you've played it before, let me know if, if there's a boss later on that you'll love. I don't want to know what boss it is, because that's a spoiler, but I'd love to know if you have a favorite one later on. <laughs> ice is stealing my heart at the moment, though. I like the ice elemental and the ice boss are like just, just stealing it, and I don't even mind at all. How do I end, how do I end these videos, by the way? I, I don't know. I, I'll just keep talking till the video cuts me off. Uh, you know, so how is everyone's day? 2020, am I right, people? What a start of the year it's been. Oh boy, has it 